One. Good evening, and welcome back to 30 at 6 on Cecil TV. I'm Allison Donnelly, and today is Monday, June 10th. And I'm Rob Turnside, and Allison, I'm glad to see you back. You were away yeah. for a while. Thank you. Yeah, this past weekend I went to my alumni weekend at St. Mary's College of Maryland. Wow. Well, what did you do? I didn't hang out with my fellow UD alumni, although I get stuff on the computer all the time. Oh, they're alumni like Stuff like Orioles games. Cool. And uh, one of these days I'll do that. It's important. But I uh, played music, worked in the garden, and ran the roads, and uh, picked peas, and you know. Oh. Yeah, I meant to thank you for the bag of beautiful greenery that you shared with us. You're quite welcome. I You're can't wait welcome. to There's talk to you. more that came from so far. Cool. I can't wait. Um, so Cecil TV was busy this week. Um, starting with last Wednesday, we covered the Lanternfly Lunch and Learn. So that will be on this week's show. Do How remember? do they prepare the lanternflies? Oh, they don't serve them for lunch. <laughs> they serve information, right? Yeah, oh, okay. it's an informative gathering. I no lantern flies are on the menu. <laughs> and then we covered First Friday, and we met the people who are running the new um, sh the agriculture shops on Main Street in Elkton. Oh, right, right, right. And then we covered the middle school robotics competition at Cecil College. Cool. Yeah, so that's, those are things to look forward to on this week's show. Always some excitement on Cecil TV. Right. I unfortunately will be away next week. I know. Where are you going? Uh, je ne pas révéler mon destination, mais mon mission est très important et confidentielle. Mm. So it's the top secret conclusion to Wormgate. Mon encontre sur les verres de la terre n'est pas complète, et seulement le commencement. Stay tuned. And now for the news. Troopers over the weekend made more than 3,800 traffic stops that led to dozens of impaired driving arrests and the recovery of multiple loaded handguns and drugs. From Garrett County to the eastern shore of Maryland, troopers statewide arrested 59 impaired drivers between Friday, June 7th and Sunday, June 9th, 2019. Two of the impaired drivers arrested were also charged with illegally being in possession of a firearm. A third loaded handgun was recovered from a traffic stop, and the driver was also in possession of drugs. In Cecil, troopers conducted a sobriety checkpoint on westbound Pulaski Highway, east of Mechanics Valley Road and northeast. Of the 533 vehicles that passed through, passed through, three individuals were directed to the side of the road for further testing. Along with simultaneous grant-funded DUI saturation patrols, four DUI arrests, one CDS arrest, and one warrant arrest occurred Friday night. Maryland State Police says that checkpoints like this are placed in locations based on crash statistics and frequency of DUI arrests, affording the greatest opportunity for achieving drunk and drugged driving deterrence. Seniors 55 and older are invited to a Consumer Protection Forum 1 p.m. next Wednesday at the County Administration Building. Maryland Attorney General Brian Frosch, in partnership with the Cecil County Department of Community Services, will be conducting a forum that will focus on several issues including scams, identifying theft prevention, and your rights as consumers in Maryland. Attorney General Frosch will share his personal story about being a victim of identity theft, offer tips on protecting against identity thieves and scammers, and discuss how the Attorney General's office helps Maryland consumers. There will also be a question and answer session. Please RSVP online to ensure adequate seating for all attendees at the URL on your screen. For additional information, please contact Sheila Murphy at smurphy at ccgov.org. If your plans in 2020 include flying anywhere or entering a secure federal building, it is important that you visit the Motor Vehicle Administration to get a new Maryland driver's license that is Real ID compliant. To become compliant, you must present one of several types of identification, such as a birth certificate or an unexpired passport. The Department of Transportation says drivers should have received five notices to ask that they come to an MVA office with documents to meet federal Real ID requirements. Maryland, Marylanders who ignore these notices risk having their driver's license recalled or confiscated by law enforcement. For months, Maryland officials have urged residents to gather the documents they need for the new ID. The Department of Transportation says drivers should have received five notices asking that they come to an MVA office with documents to meet federal Real ID requirements. Information is available at license.mva.maryland.gov. And now for a word from our sponsors.